Welcome to Tush Twins, heard exclusively on, heard and seen exclusively on MalcolmPresents.com, the uh, streaming network heard around the world and beyond. And right now there is no beyond uh, uh, the World Series starting this Friday between the New York Yankees and Los Angeles Dodgers. I, yeah, them, them bums left us. Yeah, they left Brooklyn. They left us in the dust. But anyway, yeah. so I, I, I are we starting know. with Indian Summer or are we starting with the World Series? Let's start with the World Series. The World Series. Do then you? People could, yes, this way okay. people could keep wondering why I'm dressed like this. Okay, <laughs> we'll we'll let everybody wonder if you know the song. If you're going to San Francisco. <laughs> Be sure to wear some flowers in your hair. I'll give you a hint. That's it. So anyway, here, here's my homage to the Mets. They gave us a season that nobody expected. They were put on the, the lowest rung of the lowest, you know, standings in, in their division. Like they, you know, no way. And somehow through this magic of whatever, Mm -hmm. They got two games away from the World Series. Two, the, the Dodgers were the better team in this case and got the best of them. But I, congratulations to the Dodgers! The, I think the Mets really gave their fans a, a season to remember. The, some they of the did. classic, the classic games that came behind. They beat teams that they never. They didn't think they would. No one said they would beat the Phillies in a million years. I want them to play the Phillies. Yes. They killed the bums. Well, now, since they lost to the Dodgers, I hate to say, Malcolm, um, we're rooting for the Yankees here right now. Yankees! Yankees! Yeah, Because we have to root for a New York team. But since York you're team. an Angelino, but you are a Brooklyn Dodger fan. Yeah, but, but the Yankees were never a New York team to me. Why is that? They, they were the Bronx. The Bronx was another world. <laughs> I lived in the Bronx for a while. Yeah, well, you um, were. But I lived in Riverdale, which is kind of the Bronx bordering on Westchester. Uh, it's a different vibe than the Bronx. Well, 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 the I, have Bronx. To, I, ha I have to admit, I think it was in the 90s uh, when Derek Jeter was playing. Was yes. that long ago? Yeah, yeah. It yeah, was, it was a long time 96. ago. Yeah, Jeter was like a rookie, and Andy Pettit and Bernie Williams and uh, oh my uh, god, uh, uh, Mariana uh, Rivera, oh, they were Posada. really excellent. Po yeah, Posada, uh, Rivera, pitcher. They they, they they had heart. There was there you was a, they 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 gelled and they really played well together. They just gelled yeah, they as did. a. I think they gelled as a team. They gelled as friends. Yeah, they, uh, they had great chemistry. Chemistry, and mm. I sort of was always leery about the 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 L.A. Dodgers, but Why now I've been here almost fifty years, and they're they're my home team. Right. Yeah, I would say that. And, and, yeah, and but there's you nobody. Can. Nobody. Well, uh, none, uh, none, uh, none uh, of the either. management is around. That uh, uh, you know moved to to uh, Los Angeles from Brooklyn. And most of the players that were alive are really not alive anymore. I think the the the, the one I know for sure, of course, is Sandy Koufax. Yes, right. and he's sort of I think he's like eighty five, eighty six, and he. I mean, Duke he was, Snyder still alive? Who? No, Duke. Duke Snyder. No, Duke passed. He died. Met him a couple of times. He's a nice guy. None of the boys of summer. Uh, I think the mm -hmm. last. Who was the who was the catcher? Um, well, the Roy Campanella and then uh, Roy Campanella, and yeah, then and Walker, but Camp Campy was uh, who's injured. on first? What's on second? G I, don't I don't know. know. Yeah. Third base. Third base. Okay. Well, we're not Gil Hodges, <laughs> right? Gil yeah, just got a timely hit, right? Yeah. Uh, he, so, so second base was when I, well, I was was a uh, Jackie. What? And wow. uh, uh, wow. then uh, Jim Gilliam. I think. Sounds familiar, Jim Gilliam. Did he go uh, over to the Mets somehow? Uh, uh, Junior Gilliam. Oh, Pee Wee Reese, right? Pee Wee, Pee -wee Reese. So the so the the Yankees Dodgers rivalry goes back to like twenties to well no, but it's probably 
in the forties, forties, late forties into the fifties. Uh, and, uh, so the last time that the Yankees and Dodgers played was in 81. Uh, and, and by the, the way, this note, the passing, the, one of the starting pitchers famous in, in 1981 for the Dodgers, Fernando Valenzuela. Oh, right, when right, did right. he pass? Right. And he passed yesterday. Recently. Oh, I yeah. didn't know. Oh, my God. 63 yeah. years. It's, it's pretty young, actually. Yeah, they, they didn't say what the cause was, but uh, well, he had just uh, announced that he wasn't going to be doing the broadcast for the World Series. He was doing the Spanish broadcast. Okay. Yeah. He said he wanted to take care of his health issues. Oh, so well, I guess he, he knew have, he was so, so he has leg. he had something that's for sure, but um, but he so he was these... like uh, you know, one of the favorites here. Uh, yeah, just uh, you know, the the way he pitched, the way he looked. Yeah, and he was well, a minch, a, a, a Mexican minch. minch. Aww. Well, they they you know there's a lot of a lot of history and a lot of players you know including Koufax and and Pee Wee Reese. So Koufax and, is I think and, the only one of the only boys of the sum is still around. The the yeah. last one that really passed aside from uh was Cole Erskine. Yeah, yes, I, I think he was ninety and ninety six or ninety eight. Hmm. That's a nice age. Um, but yeah. then you had um, well, he's not around anymore. Hey, but Yogi. Larson pitched the only perfect game in the World Series in nineteen fifty six. That was heartbreaking in the Bronx against Berra, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Berra, right? The Brooklyn Dodgers and and Yogi Berra went like crazy. He literally jumped into his arms. Uh, <laughs> And it was, you know, quite quite a historical. Actually, it's like never been the done. Only, first and only first and only game pitch in the World Series that was perfect uh, game, perfect, perfect, perfect game. game. You know, so then, so then Walter O'Malley moved the Dodgers to California in 1957, and so Koufax went out to L.A. to be with the. Uh, Let's see the hillbillies. No, yeah. Beverly Hillbillies. Yes, swing pools, well, movie I, stars. Yeah, actually, actually, that's that's when <laughs> Koufax gained control. Kate Koufax was always a, a great pitcher, fastball, right. curveball, yeah. but he had absolutely no control. Right, he was a good like you Nolan know, Ryan was like Jewish. that for a while, and he but, was great with the Mets, and then he left in Texas and he became a superstar. Right, because the New York market is tough. I'm sure the LA market's tough too, but the New York market, it's we the got toughest some, market. It's, I think yeah. it's the toughest market, which is why the magical Mets, which I'm calling them for this season, that struck, struck a chord with the fans and with everyone in the city. Everyone wanted them to win. Even Yankee fans <laughs> were going, you know, if they win, I'm not going to be upset. I'm not. Then, Strangely, I, I was like, I really? was very happy to hear all that. It was on the news. You know, it was, oh my it was, God. It was but, it was crazy. And I'm glad though, I'm kind of happy the Yankees and Mets aren't playing because and you'd have to go get I, to your, your godson. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know, I live in I have a mixed marriage. You know, we're we're a mixed marriage. He's Yankees, I'm Mets. Right. And that's like the hardest thing. Who cares about Jewish and Christian? Who cares about this and that? Republican Democrat. But he's a Yankee and I'm a Met fan, but I'm a New York fan. Well, I'm a New York fan too. And Les is a, a is a Yankee, but he really was very, very much a Met fan this season. And I'm an he is a Met fan. I'm a Met fan. And uh Met but fanatic. When, but when the if there was a Mets Yankees, I'd be Mets all the way. Oh, but, all the way. But mm. now I'm going for Sorry, Mel. Yankees. I'm going for the, okay. going for the Yankees. Uh, well, all right. Because New York, you know, if we the had Yankees the Liberty. Look yeah. what happened with the woman. Oh, my God. I was so happy. I'm I'm ordering a Liberty sweatshirt. I, I got I, it. So I love watching them. I, I, I know where you get it. If you get it, let me know what the sign is. I have absolutely okay. no feeling about WNBA. Yeah, a, a lot of guys don't. I but women are getting more. Who I watched was uh, Caitlin Clark. Well, that was the and college. She was playing this. No, no, and she was playing this year. Okay, wait a minute. Indiana. Right. Yeah. She was the one who everyone was, yeah, watching. Right. Right. And she, she, she I would watch the pros, WNBA but she's a games when she played. 
she's a rookie this she, yeah. she now is no longer a rookie she's a right. sophomore no now. but um but dennis but the, loves the wmb yeah. nba he a lot of guys are, 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 are watching it more he really enjoys them you think and he got me started a couple of years ago and I want to, I told them next year, I want to go to the games in person instead of watching it on TV. So well, maybe, we'll go to the, maybe we'll go to the Barclays Center because I've never, have you been to the Barclays I've Center? I've never been to the Barclays Center. Yeah, I was telling Malcolm before when we was talking on the phone. I said, I've never, I've been in front of it. I've been near it, but I've never been in it. So we're going to have to go to, let's go to a Liberties game next year. Well, good, I think we should. Go, go, Definitely, going, I'll get tickets. going back to baseball. Yeah, no. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I remember the first. I think the first world wasn't a World Series, but the first time I really lived and died Dodger baseball, nineteen fifty one. So that was before our time, yeah, right? I, 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 was <laughs> I wasn't born. No, me neither. I know I'm. I'm old. You can see by the uh, white beard and the white the hair. Alpacaca. It's cute. Oh, we like we like Alta Cock. We yeah. like Alta Cock. We're, We're very close. Well, I think you're just like anybody that survived more than you. But, right. But, yes, I do. Because yeah. it makes well, me well, you young, say, right? I'm well, younger it, it, than it him. It gives us hope. Yeah, I'm, I'm younger than him. That's right. Okay. But anyway, yeah. 1951. Mm -hmm. I remember the disappointment when Bobby Thompson hit the home run. Right. The, the it, shot it, heard around game, the world. The Giants. Yeah, the and shot the holds. Yeah, right. And he hit well, what's known as a shot heard round the world. Right. Well, they, they it says here we were thinking when it started, it was they actually their rivalry started in 1941. No. And well, then that, that, that New, York, New York beat the Dodgers in 49-52-53. Yes. And 54 Cleveland Indians won. 55 they won 55 the dodgers went first time the dodgers the history finally the won the title dodgers. finally won the and, title in 1955 then they the moved right and yeah. then that son of a bitch moved right then he moved yes and there are lots of stories that he wanted to stay but they uh they, they uh robert moses who was in what was his title he was the guy who did all the parks <laughs> and something but yeah, yeah he i was telling you that he 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 they wanted to stay, but some, some he did something that that wasn't uh, and, amenable to this team staying or giving them a yeah, place. They, they wanted to stay in Brooklyn, but the area that uh, uh, Ebbets Field was was a deteriorating uh, area, mm -hmm. and it was a, a very poor communications, you know, yeah, a, a transportation, park, yeah. and no right. parking. Right, they wanted to build, yeah. I think, a better stadium. Yeah, they, they wanted to do where Barclays. They should have made it in Brighton Beach. Yeah, I, yeah, I wanted yeah, them to do put a park in Coney Island. Yeah. There was a Coney nice Island. spot where the field is now. They could have made yeah. a bigger field. Yeah. They needed a bigger build, but they needed. I mean, I don't build. know the entire story. I guess if you Google it, you can they, find they, it. There, there, there are books on it. Yeah, there's a lot on it, yeah. but but, but here we are. Uh, but here we are now. We're back in. We're in 2024. I can't even believe it's 2024. It's I can't 2024, believe for everybody. It, it's a, oh it's my a, god, it's 2024. Oh it's my be, god. Yeah, um, the month I and must a half it's through all these years. In two months right. it's going to be 20 2025. Yeah, fun times. Can you imagine? In the year 25, 25. 20, well, that's 2525. <laughs> not 2025. Uh but yeah, we we you know, so again both teams have a big history that that the uh Dodgers and the Yankees. It, I mean, they both have stars. Um, oh wow! The Dodgers yeah. have Otani. The the Yankees have have Judge and Soto. Soto. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's it's uh, Giancarlo. Uh, Giancarlo. Uh, well, Friday we're gonna watch the game, and then next Wednesday I can't be here next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after when the Yankees win. Yep. Well, we'll, we'll have know. to do you another day. Are you available any days? Well, we'll, we'll talk. Well, well, we could do another one after this. <laughs> yeah, but then we don't know the conclusion. We don't know of the, the game series. So no, that, but we could do and we could do our flower. <laughs> we can do our flower show. Yeah. Uh, I have another show in a little bit, but anyway, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to look at that script right now, right here in my face is this script. 
You don't even know. Script. You don't know what's even for this script. Knowing why I have the flowers in my hair. But why do you have flowers in your hair? Why do you have flowers? Because, in your hair? Pray tell. because I'm a hippie for one. You're a hippie. I, I was. It's never. You never stop being a hippie. I'll never stop, and I never will. There you but go. Where I live in Hardingston, New Jersey, Hamburg, we broke a world record of temperature. A world Yesterday record? we were eighty six degrees. You mean a record in not the town? Yeah, in town. Yeah, but it's right. Eighty six degrees. We since nineteen twenty four. Wow, over a hundred years, and wow. it was eighty one degrees, and now we broke it yesterday eighty six yesterday afternoon. And of course, my air conditioning didn't work. I'm waiting for them to come today yeah. to fix it. It doesn't work. Oi. No. Oi. Oi. So now, the day before that, on Monday, we broke the record again. We were 85, and we broke the record. I don't even know what we are here now. Um, right now, I, we're 75 degrees. I, I, I looked at, I just walked sparkles through. And like, I, we're not going to break any record today. But let's see what this it, it's really is. It's, it's very warm. But and it I feels say, warmer. It feels a lot warmer, but Doesn't it's staying it? breezy. Right. Yes, and we have a weather alert in effect right now for winds oh. and the temperature dropping tonight. Winds? There's going to be yes, winds? Yes, we have fires. We have fire alerts yeah. all over the place. Oh, man, Sunday is going to be 36 in the morning. 36. Well, we've gone down to 29 already here. But it's gone thing two is days ago, it was 29, and it went up to 84. We're not in a drought yet, but we are we getting are. close. They we didn't declare drought. Westchester a drought yet, but when I drive along the reservoir, it is going Empty. down. It is it is getting lower, and uh, well, but, but better, better than floods. The dirt like, on the bottom. Well, well, one you know usually they call this Indian summer. It is Indian summer, okay, and Indian summer is something that comes like usually after the first frost. And um, we've had it now for the past two weeks in the mornings. But the, I, I asked right. the question on 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 the the, the computer here, like mm -hmm. uh, why is it called Indian summer or what is it says? Although the exact origins of the term are uncertain, it was perhaps so called because it was first noted in regions inhabited by Native Americans, or because the natives first described it to Europeans. Or it had been based on the warm and hazy conditions in autumn when Native Americans hunted. Um, I don't know how much longer they're going to keep this name because now it's you know it like all be the Indian indigenous things. Summer. Indigenous it should summer. be called Indig indigenous, indigenous summer. That's going to come soon. Um, the Native American summer. But it, but it says it's it's a period of unseasonably warm, dry weather that occurs in autumn, typically late October. Which is where well, we late are. Late October, so we're right. In it started right. early October here. Um, started a little sooner, and then uh, the term originated in New England, but uh, mm -hmm. that's and it's thought to have come from also the practice of gathering uh, winter stores. Okay. Uh, well, so maybe everybody people... moved out of the house and moved into tents, and they thought the tents look like teepees. I, I I don't know about that, but <laughs> it's usually the first frost. And then, like right after that, it go and it's supposed to usually last for like a week. It's been longer than a week. It's been two and a half weeks. So we've been over seventy degrees. Well, we, we were we were eighty yesterday in Los Angeles. We were warmer so, than you were. So it says in North America, temperatures must be above seventy degrees Fahrenheit for at least seven days uh, after the fall equinox. To be Indian summer, so we are literally in the middle of Indian summer. Oh, we're in the middle of it. Tomorrow is supposed to go down, but then again on the weekend, it's supposed to go up like Monday and Tuesday next week in the seventies again. The weekend's supposed to be cooler though. The yes, weekend, and I'm playing. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm going to play golf go. on Sunday. Yeah, no, I'm going. I'm going to a button hook art event in Put Button Hook Forest. So if people go cool. to preservebuttonhook.org. You can. See if you can register to come to this cool event. We're gonna have art in the forest. This this uh, oh. artist is gonna be putting uh, 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 art. Who? Not art. Uh, 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 art as in what you look at it, beauty. 
beauty. I don't know if art is handsome or not. I have no idea. But <laughs> I don't know. Art Link Leather, he was okay. Art mm. Link Leather, I haven't Hartley seen Link Leather. was Link funny. Link. I used to love when he did the, or, or interview the kids. Kids say the craziest Brilliant. things. Yeah, I don't know. Kids right now, they don't say anything. They just look at their phone. This is the kids now. Yeah. They're just they're just on the phone like all go, the huh? time. Huh? What? 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 Here's my here's my puppy. Look at the baby. I've got the face. Oh, did your babies? She, she, she your came babies. up here. She Get was gonna mind. stay on the the bed, but then she decided. Is she oh, cutie? Oh, oh my goodness! Look at this baby. You have a baby now. Yeah. I, oh, I tell us about your baby. Yeah, let me hear about your baby. I, your it, grand dog. Uh, and, yeah, and, and your grand dog. My grand dog. That was I. I no, I don't know where I have pictures. That's it. Oh. So what anyway, kind of yeah, dog? It's it's a uh, a Doberman Pinscher. Okay, mm -hmm. and what's the it name? Was of this? Born uh, July sixteenth. Okay, Sparkles was July fourth. Okay. And this is uh, March thirty. They carried around like it's a baby. They were over the house yesterday. It is a baby. And my Aww, son. It's a baby. And it's a a dark uh, sort of like a, a ginger or. Mm -hmm. Brown, yeah, like you, just like you, Ginger. What's they your, call what's me, Ginger? And the dog? name is Rhea. Rhea, oh, R A G A, which is a Greek. That's goddess. nice, Rhea. Yes, that's cute. That's and uh, name. next thing I'm a flower but, child. But she going the flower, she's going like 70, 80 pounds right now. They oh. carry her. Now they carry seventy they, pounds. They get to be carrying her. No, no, not now. Oh, no, it's a baby now. Oh, baby. It's a baby. Mine is a hundred. You saw that picture that little how, thing how, I have. How much she weighs? One hundred six pounds. One hundred and six. One hundred and six. She's not that. One hundred and six pounds. What type of dog do you have? It's all muscle. All muscle. She's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Mm -hmm. And what do they are they known for? They're known for chasing lions. But oh, she, this one's way. known for whining. She's known for whining, but usually she's a. We call her a Jap, a Jewish American puppy, oh. because when she wanted anything, she goes up to you, hits you with her hand, goes. Oh, no. well, Sparkles is Central a dap. She's a dap, a diva American puppy. Yeah. Uh, now mine is such a brat. I, I literally had to lure her to eat this morning with like a little piece of steak. She was oh. like, I'm on the couch. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, 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 oh man, she's, she's too much. This dog. She really is. Yeah. She mine is. doesn't go on furniture except our bed. Oh no. That's mine it. goes, mine goes everywhere. And now she has oh. a new thing. She goes up to my no room furniture. and jumps on the chair. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Uh, we, we have a dog in training. It's like a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you have to watch out the way goes to the bathroom and then train it. And, yeah, and, and they yeah. do and she sits up. They say sit, and she sits. And then they have food. That's good. And the food. They go no, no, and, and the food in the hand. And then they say now, and then she'll go into the hand to get the food. That's the well, mind training. That's good. That's training. Yeah, perfect. That, that they're I, training her. I tell Elsa, "Did you baby when she takes food? Because when she's a puppy, she goes ooh food." So now I say we go baby bites, and she goes like this. Well, tiny little baby bites. Yeah. How, so how old is she? She's three and a half. She'll be four in March 31st. Oh, you're the um, same month of birthday. Um, mm -hmm. it might well, I, I, I watched Bluey. I'll be 40 in March. You'll be 40, You'll be 40 in March? 40 in March. Okay, good for you. What's, you, what's your date? Her, his Eight? birthday? Yes. Yeah. What March day 8th. are you again? March 8th. Yeah. So you're, so you're much older than me. I'm the 12th. I'm Pisces. <laughs> You have four days. You're both Pisces and I'm a Leo. How am I getting? Well, I tell you, when, when, when someone asks my age, I say, I stopped counting at 50. I I'm stopped 49. counting at 49. <laughs> so so I, I'm between 50 and 110. Okay. I'm not sure no. what your number. P okay. Pick a number. We won't. We, we won't. Pick 39. <laughs> but that's not between 50. That's 39 is less than what he I like 39. I'll, I'll take it for a man. I'll take uh, 50. I'll take 39. Okay. I like 39. I'll take 39. I like that. 39. Me too. I'll take it. Max, then, you and I have 39. to go through your menopause again. No. Uh, do that? Again? I no, would that, absolutely I, it would be not minus do the, that. Minus the menopause, it would be fine. Huh. 
Uh, or, or you I, haven't I, gone through that yet. Well, I, yeah, I, I, that's right. I I'm wish 39. certain men in this country hmm. that they would, would be have able it. that they should have menopause. Actually, men do have menopause, but it's not obviously it's not as uh, it's menopause dramatic. Isn't not this thing that we talked about one time? Uh, they they have a play called Menopause. Right, oh, I very, know. I have to see very it. funny, and it's about. Yeah, I know we got it. We got to see that. Yeah, it, it, it's about I think it's five or six women. You know, uh, they're starting menopause. They have it in Vegas, and, and 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 they meet. I think like a Bon Mattel or something. They're not friends. They need, they need, they need to have it back in New York. We need to see that. I didn't it, see it. Yeah, when I was here. So check it. It's playing no, someplace because it's playing so very much. talented women, great voices because they all go into songs which are parodies of the mm -hmm. old rock mm -hmm. and roll music. So you know the music and the words are changed to fit right. to fit it. Show. Yeah. Yeah, I know I know anyone I know have seen it, they've always very, very we saw it in Vegas. Very, very funny. Oh you did see it in um, Vegas. Sort of Vegas. It's probably That's... still playing there. Is it still no, no, that was probably about 10, 15 Vegas. years ago. Yeah, you should definitely go when you're there next. Maybe I'll meet you. Mm. We need a girls trip. Oh God. I don't know if Vegas is the place for a girl's trip, but we need a girl's well, trip. Well, well, you and I went to Vegas in 1973. Well, you and I have two different visions of Vegas. Mine yeah, is, will. I don't gamble, so it's really, I mean, I would go to the shows, but other well, than why that. Why don't you meet at Yankee Stadium? Yankee okay. Stadium? <laughs> yeah, for, for, to get tickets for the game. I think it's, right now, I think it's like with uh, good seats were about six, $7,000 a piece. Somebody, my, oh, one, yeah, one okay. of my cousins. money? One of my cousins said something on social media that she said they should be ashamed of themselves. She wanted to see if she can get tickets. She has two kids who play baseball. They're, they're in all the, you know, the, the special baseball teams. They're really great players, and she wanted to take them. And the starting price was fourteen hundred dollars on on the on the Yankee ticket thing. Fourteen. That's ridiculous. The, well, well I've told the story, but the, sto That's the starting price is insane. Supposedly starting the starting pitcher for uh, the Dodgers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Flaherty. Flaherty, yeah. Jack Flaherty. He's your, he, you know the him, right? Right. My sons played Little League with him. They Isn't that amazing? Team. And the kids in the World Series pitching the first game? Right. That's a, you're, you, were your, are your boys a little psyched about that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's pretty that's, cool. I, 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 uh, yeah, but they I think kept the up the friendship. But he's are making, ridiculous. I think he's making tickets. between 15 to $20 million a year. Wow. That's all. That's not much. Ha ha. So what but are the tickets Stub now? Hub, StubHub and Ticketmaster. Are they cheaper? Places, they're so ridiculously. What are they? High. What are they? What are they? What Let's are they telling see. you? Yankee ticket StubHub. Yeah, go up. Single game. Uh, selling fast. Oh, they don't give the price. We have to go. Yeah. There's no price. I think that they got it from the actual Yankees uh, tickets themselves. It wasn't StubHub, but uh, okay, here we go. In Yankee Stadium, the tickets start row twelve, section one twenty one, four thousand fifty each. Right. It, it's uh, way up, section four twenty nine, thirteen twenty three. Yes, How that was what my cousin is, was saying. It's you know ridiculous. What, you can't, you can't is... go to a game. They're going under just under fifteen hundred dollars. That's what it says. But who buys them? Rich people. Are there yeah. that many rich people? Apparently, in New York and L.A., there are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about bum freak uh, Ohio, but um, depending on what part of Ohio, yeah. but I, in New York, yeah. And they give them away, you know, they, they give, you know, celebrities get them, rich folk get them. The, the, the average Joe cannot, no, the cannot normal afford that. Can't afford them. I'm going on the Yankee Stadium. Okay, this is Yankee Stadium. 2,815 each. That's what I'm saying. 3,100, and this is the grandstand. This is what my cousin had put in the outfield. 4,198. But you're there. Yeah. You're there. I, we can take I a print. What, what girl trip can we take for that? 
I go to the Bahamas. Let's go. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I, I I would never in my right mind pay for a ticket like that. That's ridiculous. That, that as much as I love the Mets, you know, I wouldn't spend that money. I, just I wouldn't don't spend it either. It. I mean, if they got in, I don't know if E would but, but, pay but that, one that game. That includes maybe. a hot dog and a beer. Includes nothing. No, includes That's zero. Just the ticket. Wow. Zero. And they're not. And they're not being brought to task on that. But no, nobody. And it's the same thing with Broadway. You have to go yeah. through ticket. They don't sell them at the theater anymore. It's through Ticketmaster. You right. And they can't go to the, go to the so box anymore. Money. You no. could go to the box offices, but it's still. No, you can't. If it's for theater, you can't go to the box office. They don't sell them there. You have they to don't go sell through the services. No, you could go to the box office. I don't to think the box so. office. You can. My my um my my. But they're they're still as high as you would check, buy. Check, check it out and let them know. But again, the, the let's say the Dodgers, they're paying Otani for a ten-year contract, seven hundred million dollars. What are what are the Dodgers seventy ticket million prices? dollars a year? You know what? Someone who's making that much money should buy a group of tickets for underprivileged children. He probably that really does. Want to see it? He probably does. And oh wait, wait, wait! But the Dodgers, you can. It's currently going for thirteen ninety, but you can get it as low as twelve forty five. Right. Oh my God! We can get it as low as one thousand two hundred forty five dollars for game one. I, I wonder how. And that's all the way up in the bleachers. I wonder that's how the much the parking is. Oh, oh my parking's God. fifty dollars. A normal uh, game. Car. Regular oh games. Oh my. God. God, if you go. That's why I always went by Subway. I never but, 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 drove but, to Shea but Stadium. You have Masoto, who probably is going to get for the uh, for the Yankees, uh, probably get a but, they say contract for five six hundred million dollars. USA Today, yeah, has a an article and it says the L.A. Dodger World Series prices. It says Dod Dodgers World Series tickets are going for as low as twelve forty five. As, as low, low. As. that's the first thing they say. As low, oh my Maxie, god, when I took Elon, well, get your seats the... behind the right field foul pole. <laughs> Dennis bought those tickets for Elon and myself for his bar mitzvah, right? Right, that was 2000, the year 2000. Yeah, okay, they were $750 mm -hmm. a ticket, 2000 back then. Yeah, that's that's. that's that was high believe. back then. And well, well guys, today it seems like a bargain. Yeah, guys. Uh, as low as low as $1,245. Uh, Let's you get two of them and four of them, 10 of them. Uh, if uh, I was rich, I would buy the freaking tickets and give them to the kids. That's I would. What I would. Without That's a doubt. what I would do. Uh, do, oh, you no. consider, do you consider me a kid? Sure. <laughs> you want to go, yes. Malcolm? I want to go. If someone <laughs> gave you tickets, you would go to this one, right? Yeah, oh, definitely. definitely. This one you would definitely do. Okay. Well, the only thing I could say, quote, a quote, a old announcer, it's time for Dodger baseball. Oh, that's uh, that's the announcer, Vince, Vince Scully. Vince Scully. Yeah, and, he uh, was he was one of a kind, man. Yeah, one of a kind. Anyway, guys, it's time All for right. us to go. River Dirty. Be try sure to, to Let's try to reschedule our next Wednesday show so we can talk about baseball again. We'll figure it out. Huh. We'll figure because, it out because we know the Dodgers are going to win four in a row. So by the time. Two uh, weeks later, uh, Read between the lines. I don't think so. I still have a boo boo on my finger. She still has a boo boo on her finger. See my boo boo on my finger. Um, yeah, I have. I I have a little paper cut on here. <laughs> See my Bye. finger. See? Bye. Bye guys. Bye. Let's go Yankees. <laughs> Yankees. 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 Yankees.